Well, there's always some friendly competition between sororities, but something and someone have pulled members of the historically black sororities together for an online campaign that's now gone viral. It's the election and vice presidential candidate Kamala Harris, who's a member of one of those organizations. Jennifer Bellamy joins us now with a look at how Atlanta is playing a really big role in all of this political action. Yeah, Aisha, for those who are not familiar with black Greek organizations, when you join, whether it's in college or sometime after, it's a lifetime commitment and the work and service don't stop after graduation. That's why one woman came up with an idea to get people moving, to get people politically active and to bring people together. I accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States of America. It started with a moment. The selection of California Senator Kamala Harris as a Democratic Vice Presidential nominee. Harris spoke of her biological family, but also of her chosen family, her sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha or AKA and other historically black Greek organizations known as the Divine Nine. Family is my beloved Alpha Kappa Alpha, our Divine Nine, and my HBCU brothers and sisters. Myesha Land, another member of AKA, wanted to build on that historic moment with the tradition of strolling. So what is that exactly? Members of a Divine Nine organization form a line and move forward using the same dance or motions, hence stroll to the polls. It was only supposed to be four of us, right? Four or five of us. It grew into t over 20 women because people were just so excited to participate. Land owns a Gems of Georgia dance studio in southwest Atlanta and united her own sorority sisters along with members of Delta Sigma Theta, Zeta Phi Beta and Sigma Gamma Rho in what has become a viral series of images and videos online. People across the country, including celebrities, have shared it. It was even mentioned on The View, a reaction Land didn't expect. Never in a million years would I have ever thought that this would be a... Um, a, a banner, a, a flagship for voting. While the Divine Nine don't support individual political figures, they have always cultivated political engagement as nonprofits, and their members play a huge role in U.S. elections. The Center for American Progress said black women are one of the most active voting blocs in the United States, and recently black women were credited with saving Joe Biden's presidential hopes, carrying him to a momentous win in the South Carolina primary. Land says the success of the Stroll to the Polls campaign shows unity among Greek sororities and the excitement of getting involved in the political process, especially among black women. We can get the job done, and it shows that black women are always engaged. That culminates into something fantastic for our country, for our family, for our community. And Maisha tells me the murals selected to be featured from across Atlanta are also the works of black women. So a lot of shouting out going on there. And full disclosure, I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta and Aisha. A member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And I think it's so important that you mentioned, J. Bell, that this does not have anything to do with a sorority supporting a particular uh, Democrat or Republican. This goes to show what this election means as far as representation. To have someone this high on the ticket that is a member of an organization that you identify with. Also, J. Bell, mad shout out to you. We have friendly competition and banter we because we're we in different sororities. <laughs> but to be in Atlanta teaching the viewers what strolling <laughs> is, is the most divine nine in the most Atlanta news I've seen in a while. Yeah, so. well, they, they get it on Morning Rush with Chesley as well, so. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This is, that was so ATO, you yeah. gotta love it. Our voter access team is committed to bringing you the latest election information. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to us over email. You can even shoot us a text. We also have an election guide on 11alive.com with everything you need to be prepared.